When it rains, it pours. Please stop, Chuck. My ass is sore. I can't take no more. Okay, so this guy has gone under the radar for too long, and it seems highways are finally waking up to the fact he's oppressive as all hell after they buffed him every season for six seasons straight with no nerfs. Like, no wonder every Chuck you see is last spamming. They sit there playing this cancerous piece of shit god and receive buffs for it. When I do that with King Arthur, he gets nerfed into the ground. So first off, why does simply jumping into the air make this guy tankier than literally everyone else in the entire game? 70% damage mitigation is just not okay. At that point, you may as well just make him invincible. For reference, you would need 240 total protections of both types to reduce incoming damage by 70%. Yeah, this Mayan Menace could build full fucking damage and be as tanky as someone with a near full tank build just by doing a Mario jump mid team fight. What the fuck is that? Not to mention this ult does solid damage, is unmissable and has two real Really powerful CCs attached to it, one arguably being the best CC in the entire game, and the silence lasting 3 seconds can be extremely deadly as well. You combine this silence with Chak's ridiculous attack and movement speed slows on his reign, and you're essentially pseudo stunning the target, since they can't cast, can barely move, and will basic attack slower than high res takes to nerf broken god releases. The fact that this ability used to be on a 75 second base cooldown, 15 seconds lower than everyone else's ults until recently, is kinda crazy. This is one of the best ults in the game for all it does, and yet apparently that deserves a lower than average cooldown? Insanity. But yeah, in the first nerfs Chak has received in more than 6 years, this was at least moved back to a 90 second cooldown in early season 9. Also in early season 9, the absolute bullshit scaling on his heal was reduced, suspiciously quickly after I mentioned that fact in a video, that's all I'm saying. For the unaware, Chak's reign used to scale at 150% physical power, which was far and away more than any other heal in the entire game, and was part of the reason why Transcendence Chak was so popular even in solo. With near infinite mana and a heal that scaled at 150% power, you basically had to leave lane less than I left my basement during the pandemic. Thankfully, this was nerfed after attention was brought to it and it now only scales at 100%. I say only, but 100% scaling on a heal is still pretty unheard of to be honest, especially on a warrior. For reference, Kamazots, the guy literally known for his strong healing, only has 75% scaling on his 3 and he's an assassin that's meant to build power. Taking a warrior example, Amaterasu's heal is similar in terms of being tick based while having some other benefits tagged onto it and this scales at 20%. Absolutely laughably small, 1 5th of Chak's heal and less than 1 7th before the nerf to it. With the amount Chak players spam this bullshit ability, I'm surprised he's not caused some kind of biblical flood at this point. But of course, the heal isn't the only component of rain. It's also one of the strongest movement and attack speed slows in the entire game when stacked twice using his axe. I mean, I hate hunters as much as the next guy, but this supposed ability based warrior being able to outbox almost any auto attacker in the early to mid game just because their attack speed gets fetus deletus by his ability is not okay. 6 seconds of minus 50% attack speed and minus 80% movement speed is just absurd. Now granted, it's not actually an 80% movement speed slow because of diminishing returns, it's actually more like a 57% slow, but that's still crazy good to the point where no one is really escaping you without a jump or dash. And the Mayan Menace can just wail on you for that whole 6 seconds. Honestly, I'm not really convinced on all the arguments that people make that tanks do just as much damage as squishies while being tanky, but if any god would convince me of that fact, it would be Chak. Mainly because a lot of his tankiness comes from his base kit for free and he doesn't even have to build tank items to be tanky. I mentioned the ult's mitigations before and how it's roughly equivalent to 240 of both protections while channeling, but there's also Chak's outright busted too that can give him yet another 100 protections for 6 seconds. That's just an insane amount. For reference, this is the protections damage formula. Plugging in 100, you can see that having 100 protections literally halves the damage you take. Meaning Chak can just press 2 and take effectively half damage for 6 full seconds, penetration ignored of course. And this just encourages you to build him with more damage and not tank items, since this 100 prots is more than enough early on to keep you alive and level with some people that are building defense. But I'm not done yet! In yet another unneeded Chak buff at the end of season 8, they made this ability scale down in cooldown, so instead of being 13 seconds at all ranks, it now scales down to 9 seconds at max rank. I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure out why this is completely and utterly retarded. Did you get it? I'm sure you did. Yeah, the protections last 6 seconds and this ability with max CDR is on a 5.4 second cooldown, meaning Chak can basically permanently have an extra 100 of both protections while fighting in lane if he's playing it right. This is often why you see Chaks get away with building Trans first item. 
Between the 70% ult mitigations, permanent 100 protections, massive attack speed slow and 100% scaling heal, he is just as tanky if not more so than a warrior building breastplate or glad shield first item, yet he has 100 power and infinite mana and you have like 20 power and no mana. And this works the other way if you're playing him mid or jungle, which, by the way, he is absolutely viable in those roles, don't at me. In that case, you do just as much damage as the enemy jungler or mid, yet you are just as tanky as their solo laner, at least in the early game. God, I sound like one of those robot ADC mains parroting their talking points about how tanks are OP because they die in 5 basic attacks late game instead of 4, but Jack is really one of those examples where he genuinely is too tanky for how much damage he can output when built right. I guess his voice lines all make sense now. <laughs> You hit like a baby! Full tank Chak is a waste of his potential in my opinion. You absolutely can get away with one, two, maybe even three damage or bruiser items in your build and be just as tanky as a typical solo laner if you're playing it right. While they have four to five tank items and maybe like one bruiser option, it's kind of insane how much this guy's been buffed over the last six years, but at least he finally took some much needed nerfs in season nine. But that's enough ranting for one day. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. It's been a while since I've done a rant, but Chak's numbers are just not okay, and I'm very surprised he doesn't see more play, to be honest. Catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds.